Hi, this is a video tutorial to cover a topic submitted in the February Mobility Hero Contest. We will be using ClearPass Policy Manager to manage controller logins. First, under configuration, we need to add a network device, if you haven't already. If you need to, simply click Add Device and add in your information. Next, we need to configure a device group. I already have one controller and you can if you need to you add device group but you can select from a list or you can do your subnet but I'm going to go with list and save that next we need to configure a new role oh, where is it there it is okay do that I'm going to call it tips ENG for engineer. Okay. So after that, we need to configure an enforcement profile. Okay. We're going to call the enforcement profile root access. And hit next. Here the Ruby user role is going to equal root and next and here's the summary and we're happy so let's save this okay now we need to do some role mapping now we're going to add role mapping the policy name management role mapping. Easy enough. And the default role is deny. Next we need to add a role and the conditions if you're in the local user repository which we're using for this and your role name equals engineer Engineer, you will receive the role tips ENG. And here's the summary. And let's hit save. Next, we need to configure an enforcement policy. All right. And we are going to call it management enforcement policy. Easy enough to remember. Okay, and the default profile is going to be deny access. And to add a rule, we are going to say tips role equals engineer. They're going to receive the root access role. Okay, here's the summary. Now, we need to create a service. Okay, we're going to call this management login service. And we need to make this just a generic radius enforcement. And I got rid of that. Management. All right. Now, we'll need a rule that says radius NOS IP belongs to group controller Okay, and here we configure the authentication methods. We're going to go mschap and pap. And the source will be the local user repository. Role mapping will be the one we created earlier. And the enforcement policy will also be the management enforcement policy we created. 
And here's the summary. Let's save. Okay, so that finishes up the clear pass work. Now we need to go to the controller. So we need to configure a 3576 server. Perfect. And it's the IP of the clear pass. Now, we need to configure a radius server. Okay. Nah. Two, three. Now, we need to configure a server group. we need to configure the management authentication profile. And configure the default role after this. And enable it. And now let's test. All right. Whoop. And we made it in. Perfect. So that concludes the uh, the tutorial to go along with using ClearPass Policy Manager to manage controller logins. Thanks for the submission by this person and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a great day.